This one's for the Cardiff crew. One, two, three, four! La 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 Rummy, la 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 Rummy, la 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 la. Took me years to write that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was just a nobody from Land Rummy, do you know what I mean? I know for the last 30 years I've been in a band playing all over the world. I think I've done some positive things with my life, which I never expected to do. But simply I just thought, sod it, have a go. My mother moved into Land Rummy. When it was first being built, Ruskin Close, one of the very first streets to be built, that was 1952. And four years later, I was born in the house. So I'm one of the few people that was actually born in Landrummy. We're going back 50 years. Like I said, nobody had a good word to say about the East End of Cardiff. And I don't think that's changed much. You know, a lot of people uh, think you're from Landrummy, you're rough and tough and you're this, that and the other. There's a, well, lot of, the a lot of positive energy at this yeah, end of Cardiff. A lot of nice people in there, uh, But it gets overlooked, especially like in the media, you know what I mean? <laughs> Whether you're born in Anramney or you've lived here, it becomes part of your being, it becomes part of your soul. I mean, the history in Anramney runs deep. A few years ago, my nephew was diagnosed with infantile scoliosis and we had to find a way to get the right treatment for him which unfortunately the NHS weren't able to support at that time. The boxing club um, allowed us to raise money towards my nephew's treatment. And from that point in time, it also introduced me to a healthier way of living, which was great. But actually, what was more um, important for me was having that sense of belonging. And that is something I would like to see replicated in the area. You know, if you've got a gentleman sat in his garden, in this beautiful garden in the, middle of, in the middle of a council estate and that's his haven and that's his goal achieved. Garden's always been in my family. When I moved here, it was, uh, the garden was a heck of a seat, it was just mud. Yeah, it's, it's about wildlife and what people chuck away. I, I pick up what they think is rubbish. I will pick it up and put it back into some other use. Uh, I wish I could take the care for all the garden, but in the last two years, I can't do as much as I used to, because I had a soak. But my wife helps me 90% now with the garden, and I just give the orders, <laughs> and makes a change. I think a street mallet is, it's, up, it's, it's a nice place, it's a nice area. We, unfortunately, we, we got put down many years ago by John Redwood, and uh, he made a comment many, many years ago over Tesco's, and uh, <clears throat> the press was all there, and. Um, each other would say, what a terrible place is, all these single parents, don't you? I said, no, oh, Dad, a single parent with four kids, what do you think I then got pregnant so I could have a council house, like a sponge off the state? I said, I don't think so. And St. Mans was given a bad reputation by the press and by this idiot. And it's been stuck for us ever since. Around the age of six, I think, my dad moved to St. Melons. And then that's when I started dancing then too. With dance, with training in St. Melons Community Centre, I was offered somewhere to go. And there was such a sense of that community there, which I didn't really feel anywhere else in Cardiff. When I came over to St. Melons, okay, yeah, I would go out all the time with my mates, but there would always be something going on. When there wasn't, we'd be outside Roberta's house, we'd been a lino on the floor, on the drive, and we'd, we'd be rehearsing or we'd be, practicing for a competition and it is heartbreaking that when you when, you know when I drive through St Melons now there are so many kids out on the streets I know that there, there is the hub there obviously but it would be nice to see more youth projects going in to give these kids more of an opportunity to, to find themselves the stigma is something that we all know living in Cardiff oh yeah St Melons that's a bit of a bad place when in actual fact they might know nothing about the community we used to have like community fairs in the past, which I haven't seen, that, that's gone. I think things like that need to come back. Lots of people know me by name. Even if I'm not in uniform, they'll ask me to go find them something. And I'll be like, yeah, sure, I don't mind. I'll, I'll help you. They, but they always start off with, I know you're not working, is the first thing they say to me. And I'm like, no, it's okay, what do you need? I'll help if I can. I worked in Tesco, St. Melons for 17 years now. And I also used to work in the youth club for 10 years. The kids get the stigma of being up to no good. It's just they have nothing to do. People are trying to find their own identities 
and their voices and they just want to be heard. So we need to change the narrative. We need to change opinion. It should be, well, this is a person and they've got something to contribute to society and everyone is equal. But it's not viewed that way, is it? It's always us and them. Because they're the ones driving the narrative and they're the ones telling the stories and they're the ones being listened to, then people that are underneath that narrative aren't getting their voices heard, aren't getting their um, existence of being and their lived experience actually put out there. And uh, I think that's where things like the installation that's just gone in over Tesco St Mellons, showing people in place, is really important because people can see a flip side of what the narrative is on the news and that's being pushed down their throat all the time and they can see that actually where they live is a nice place, where they live is somewhere to be proud of. Oh, it's amazing. It's nice that somebody's doing something to put a positive spin on the East End of Cardiff, do you know what I mean? Yeah, about time somebody's done something, hasn't it? Yeah. Just seeing yourself, your pic big picture up on a wall, you know, it's going to make you feel good, you know? Your friends are going to come along and have a look at it. You're going to want photos taken. You know what they like these days with their selfies <laughs> and that. Out of all the people that you took photos of, there's a lot of children there. You, you chose me. I was like, I feel like the chosen one of Harry Potter. It was really fun because I, they were all like, can you take pictures of me? He was like, hang on, hang on. And then he was like, can you take, can I take a picture of you drinking a bottle of lemonade like I was here? And I was like, that's weird. But now I see the actual thing. It's like scream summer. And it's really cool. I'm John, uh, I'm the photographer behind the Us Here Now um, gallery, I suppose you could call it. We were trying to make a body of work that, was, that talked about summers, the nostalgia of summers really, and the, uh, uh, summers that you remember from when you were a kid and trying to recreate that feeling. And then lockdown happened and it was like, how can we still make this happen? And we just went for it really. It came together incredibly well and I think I'm thrilled with how it looks. It's, it's, um, it's 10 times better than I expected. And it just gives it people a bit of a sense of ownership about where they live. What's really interesting about them is the personality of the people in them really shines and really comes through. And, and also the feedback we're getting from the people here that are coming down to see themselves or see their friends and family. This was a very kind of dismal looking wall that now really has got a bit of the personality of, of the area, which is, which is what it's all about really. I got myself into a little situation And I can't, no I can't, no I can't seem to get away from it Ooh, I got to, got to, got to break free From all this bad art that's been following me And it's time to move on, it's just a little too long now.